Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I want to start a small series on a project for the next 4 weeks or so. I will be building a news app which displays the newest headlines and then give you some progress updates every Sunday. And with that being said, let's get right to it. Also, if you enjoy my content, maybe consider subscribing to help me making more videos just like this one. First I had to create the necessary screens and files, which includes the main.dart files of course, which are pre-generated by Flutter when you create a new project, and a headlines screen.dart as well as a search screen.dart. In the main.dart file I then went ahead and created a bottom navigation bar with the search screen and the headlines screen. The headline screen will display all the newest or recommended headlines for you. I then went ahead and played around with colors and creating a color palette in the constants.dart file with a color picker and this reference image. This reference image also is the entire reference for this design because I'm not a very good designer. I also started working on the design for the main screen where the newest news will be displayed. I changed most of the design later on when I integrated the loading of actual news articles, but the design for the news cards did not change. I also played around with the inkwell widget to create material ripples when one presses on a news card, which was quite a nice exercise for me as well, because I have never worked with the inkwell widget. The last thing I did to the news card widget was to refactor it to its own widget and into a new file in the widgets folder, just to keep things organized. After that I started working on loading the actual news articles. I used the Google News API, which is not officially supported anymore, but you can still get the RSS feed, which is not for our use case. The RSS feed is in XML, so to get the data I have wrote a RSS to JSON method, which uses the XML to JSON and HTTP package to make a GET request to the RSS feed and then convert from XML to JSON and then to a Dart list. After some time I got the method working and it was time to render the results on screen with the help of a future builder and a list view builder. I will have to rewrite a portion of that code later on, because I wanted to have a scrollable app bar, but it makes up a good base to work with. The last thing I then had to do were to clean up the headlines I got from my method, because there were some backslashes in front of single parentheses, the XML to JSON converter inserted. And after some fiddling with regular expressions, I also managed to get this done. And that's it for this week. This was the progress of one day, essentially. Um, and I know it's not very much, but I just kind of wanted to test out this format and how well it will work. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, maybe consider subscribing and liking this video to help me make more videos just like this one. And till then, see you next time.